there welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am doing uh this month's shop my stash as you probably noticed i think i missed january no i missed february i think uh, because i took a little break but sure what's the harm uh we are starting uh fresh and ready for march so if you want to see all the products i have chosen uh, that i'll be using throughout march then just keep on watching as always i am going to start up with my standout products and uh, the first product that i really really enjoyed is this catrice true skin high cover uh concealer this is a new concealer in to Catrice but it has quickly become uh, my favorite. I honestly think this is the original formula of the liquid camouflage concealer because I'm pretty sure they changed that form formula to make it less um, you know less full coverage whereas you know this is so much more full coverage now and I really enjoy that. Uh, the applicator is a bit flimsy because it has it has this teardrop shape, all right, which the shape is fine, but it's just way too flimsy for me. So this is the one drawback that I have for this concealer. Other than that, the formula flawless. Um, I can leave it on my under eyes for quite some time and it doesn't settle into my fine lines, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a concealer. I really enjoy that. Um, and that's it really i do not have any other products because there isn't anything in particular that i didn't enjoy um and you know there's just no point of talking about just meh products but so this is the only standout product that i have for this month so now let's uh, go ahead and talk about the products that i'll be using in march for my primer, I decided to go with an oldie but a goodie. Uh, this is the uh, First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So basically it is an illuminating and a hydrating primer in one, which um, I do really enjoy, you know, hydrating pr primers because, um, you know, I try to prep my skin um, well for makeup and in case i get oily throughout the day i can always blot and also i used a lot of powder on my face so you know that kind of counter counteracts my um combo skin so i really enjoy that one and it's been a while since i used it so i really want to you know get some more use out of it plus it is a mini size and i do not have a lot of this left so i am hoping to maybe possibly finish this guy off uh this month then for my foundation i decided i decided to go with my Huda beauty full filter foundation i have my one in the shade short bread 200 b um Huda has since reformulated her um or this foundation i'm not sure what the difference is i think it has it doesn't have a smell this one definitely does smells like roses it doesn't have a smell and it doesn't oxidize uh, but you know this doesn't oxidize on me you know anyway so i'm fine with that this is a foundation that's supposed to work for all skin types but i do find that i get um a lot more oilier when i use this um so you know maybe it's not the best for you oily guy gals <laughs> And guys, I guess. Then for my concealer, I decided to uh, pick my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Now I had it laying on the side, but as you can see, I do not have a lot of product left. Um, I, you know, I'm trying to slowly work through it and get it out of my collection because this is not my favorite um, concealer ever. I don't necessarily like the application. It is full coverage. I mean, it's good value for money, but it is not something that I would like to repurchase. You know, it is a good high coverage concealer, very thin on the eyes and, um, you know, it's just, it's just good. I think it will be perfect for a uh, makeup artist because you get so much product in it. Uh, but for, uh, you know, <laughs> a regular person like myself, who does not do um, makeup on other people, you know, I feel like it's a little bit of 
uh, waste. For my powder, I am going to use my Lacura powder, which is currently in my whole collection project pan. So no changes uh, there. And for my brows, I'll be using Combo. I'll be using my Benefit uh, Cabrow, which is in this Inglot container. This is how much I have left. This is my only coloring product for my brows that I still have left in my collection. So I'm working through it so that I can um, repurchase something else. And I think I'll be actually purchasing the ABH um, dip brow, but I'll do my research and we'll see. And then to set my brows, I'll be using this Lacura uh, brow gel, just a simple brow gel um, that I got in Aldi and it is actually tinted um this is you know like a dupe for the um gimme brow from benefit which also i own it's unopened because i want to get through a couple of uh, brow gels that i have in my collection you know so that i can you know don't i don't want to waste them basically but yeah this is a nice you know and basic let's uh, talk about uh, the cheek products and these are my creams uh, for my contour slash bronzer i'll be using my laritzy stick in the shade uh, aloha um, i'm slowly but surely working my way through it i want to use this one up before i repurchase the or not repurchase but you know purchase the huda uh, tantor i have about um, two thirds of it still left so it'll take me a while to use this one of it but you know i don't want to purchase something that um, you know acts similarly whereas i already have a product like that so i want to use it up before i purchase a new one uh the, for my cream blush i am uh, using the uh, absolute new york blush balm and this one is in the shade cotton candy so it is basically a bubble pink kind of uh, shade this is all that i have left now i am anticipating that i will use this up this month fingers crossed and you know this is another product that can go into my makeup empties so that will be very exciting and um, this is very light for me so i do actually have to pile it on hence why it actually takes you know doesn't take me as long to um use this up so yeah it's nice but it's not something that i would repurchase so i just want to use it up and then for my cream highlight i am using the winky luxe strobing balm in radiant pink and this is all that i have left again i am anticipating to use this up this month also Ugh, that was a mouthful um <clears throat> because you know there isn't an awful lot left this is nice this is a nice cream highlight there's nothing more that i can say about this again not something that i would repurchase but it is something that i enjoy but i want to get it out of my collection let's talk about powder cheek products for my bronzer i'll be using a bronzer from this palette this is the face form contouring and a blush palette and this is the shade that i will be focusing on um i really enjoy this little palette it is very compact it has a beautiful mirror so it is perfect for on the go i really enjoy the bronzer and the blush i'm not a fan uh, and the highlight sorry i'm not a fan of the blush because it is that very intense shimmery blush which just does not vibe with me whatsoever i just i just don't like them uh for my blush i'll be using the wet n wild uh, color icon blushes and i have my one in the shade apricot in the middle um so it's just your uh normal peachy kind of um, blush i'll be using that interchangeably with the blush that i have in my whole collection project plan which is the color pop lunar hazard blush uh you know just to add some variety to uh this shot my stash and then for my uh highlight i'll be using this catrice high glow mineral highlighting powder this was all the rage i remember on youtube a couple of years ago everyone just loved it and you know i don't see the reason why people wouldn't because it's very intense very smooth and just looks beautiful on uh, the face 
In terms of some extra eye products, I have a um, eyeliner. This one is from Essence. This is the Extreme uh, Lasting Eye Pencil and I have my one in this purple shade. It is a beautiful kind of unicorn -y shade. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and it's very, very smooth and lasts on the water line a good while so not bad and then also i decided to pull in this pigment this is the inglot pure pigment in the shade 122 it is a duochrome it is kind of a purpley greenish kind of um duochrome so let me give you a swatch um on my hand here so this is what it looks like it kind of shifts from a brownish purpley kind of shade to a very metallic yellow greeny just oh, just so unique for my collection so i'm hoping to use it a couple of times because i tend to neglect my uh pigments because i just don't find them very handy to use and you know i prefer to use a pressed pigment in a palette that i have rather than a loose one but you know i have it so I want to use it and then for my lips uh, for a liquid lipstick type of product I decided to go with the clay melting lip powder it is kind of like a lip and cheek tint so this is what it looks like it is an actual powder that kind of melts once you um, once it gets in contact with your skin it is like oh it just melts off into the skin it is so nice so this is what it looks like it is very similar to the matte lipstick that i had um two months ago i think it was the red jade one enjoyed that you know but the formula was shite this one seems a lot more um what would you call it not drying <laughs> so yeah I, it's been a while since i used it so i it's nice to bring it back i do enjoy that it's the perfect summer shade I know it's gloomy outside and it's only March that you're watching this, but still, you know, I kind of want to feel it. I, I want it to feel like summer. Then for my bullet lipstick, I decided to go with the La Masca anti matter lipstick and I have my one in the shade Bang. It is just your typical nude kind of uh, shade, just very basic. I've actually, I don't think, I think I've worn this lipstick once and the all the other times that i've used this lipstick i've only swatched it so it'll be nice to put it to the test and then for my lip gloss i decided to go with the essence shine 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 um lip gloss and i have my one in the shade 07 so let me just give you a swatch oh these are so old but they smell still smell so good and i really really enjoy um this lip gloss formula it is this lip gloss right here not sticky but pigmented and lasts on the lips a decent while and then the last thing that i'll be having in my shop my stash is a makeup setting spray and this one is from lacura it is just a basic long lasting setting spray it is supposed to be a dupe for the uh all nighter from urban decay i don't see that it just acts you know as as a decent setting spray and that's it uh, but that completes today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this let me know in the comments down below what your favorite product that you used last month is okay that is it thanks very much and i will see you in the next one bye